Bismillah Rahman Rahim. We'll see the remaining slides. What is earned value analysis? Earned value analysis. So, an industry standard way. An industry standard way has three main uh, measures. Like, for example, measure a project progress, forecast its completion date and final cost, and to provide schedule budget variances during the project. So, what is this project's progress? Actually, it is. It represents the project progress. It represents the uh, progress of an activity or any element of a project structure plan. And it is actually it talks about the percentage completion. So it is it talks about project structure. Then it talks about structure, project structure plan, then percentage completion. Then it may also based on cost, time, and uh, see the efforts taken. Okay. Efforts taken towards the towards the head, how to proceed the project then it talks about uh, forecast forecast means the future future related analysis future related analysis completion date final final day cost then also it provides schedule schedule means giving a time so it's a constraint so you should see within you should finish within the deadline and budget variances budget variances to identify see you have to identify the uh, variances means for example identify causes of variation, identify causes like income, then expenses done, expenses of the uh, current year from the budget given to you, then also helps to understand the, it also understands fluctuation. Fluctuation means not even, it's like balance, it's like a fluctuation and it can be or should be done to reduce the adverse variances so it is to done fluctuations are seen uh, in the amount given so it is we are not able to there is no smooth there is no smooth flow there is no flow of money okay so next is by integrating uh, three measurements so by integrating means Combine integrating means combine three measurements. It provides consistent numerical indicators, consistent numerical indicators which may, which you may you can evaluate to the progress. Like what is an indicator? Indicator is a variable that is normally used as a benchmark for measuring a program. So it's an indicator is normally used to measure. Yeah, normally used in the form of example for measuring a program for measuring. It is used for measuring. Yes. Then uh, it's like uh, mainly you can see whole numbers as whole numbers, whole numbers, yes. Then percentages, ratios. So these are the indicator, even fractions. Okay. So these all are done to mark the progress of your project towards the goal. So it's all are done to mark the progress of project. So then we have this uh, new name and old name. New name and old name, like we have planned, uh, I mean, so yeah, planned value, earned value, actual value. See, BC, WS, BC, WP, AC, WP. So this planned value is actually the approved value. It is the approved value. Planned value is the approved value, yes. Uh, of work, approved value of work. Uh, to be completed in a given, Time to be completed in a given time to be completed in a given time. So you can calculate the plan value before doing the work. So which also serves as a baseline. So it can be done every time to be done before doing the work. Yes. Okay. Then what is this also all this budgeting cost of work and this cost of work schedule. So when you start the project, you should do it before. Then earned value. Earned value is actually it is the uh, approach where you monitor. Earned value is something you should monitor the project plan, actual work, and work completed uh, value to see if the project is on track. So it actually it is the uh, plan. Actually, it's a project plan. Then actual work. Then completed work completed. 
and completed uh, completed uh, work completed so it talks about the value it talks about the value whether the project is on track whether the project is on track it shows how much budget and time should be spent considering the amount of work so far so it gives the idea that how much how much budget how much of the budget and time have been spent so it gives an idea how much uh, time and budget been spent so far been spent in t means already spent okay considering the amount of work so far okay then actual cost actual cost is the accounting term that means amount of money that was paid uh, to acquire an asset or product is exactly what sounds like an actual cost like it talks about uh historical historical past and also talks about present the cost of product so this is actual cost okay then every time when you see budgeted cost budgeted cost what is actually budgeted cost so budgeted cost it's actually bcwp it is one so you can see budgeted cost of uh, schedule with cost of uh, work permitted actual cost of work permitted so it actually is the value of work actually these are the value of work these are the value of work actually accomplished or completed so it is completed so it is completed it can be used to address the entire project individual task or work packages so it can be used for the individual individual task or even you can see it as for the work packages so these are the budgeted cost of work performed bc wp then change control so then next topic is change control yes change control is there what are the reasons for the changes like uncertainty of work then you have the learning curve there is errors and mistakes external factors government customer suppliers process improvement so these are the reasons uh, for changes so this um, uncertainty means not even not even not even there is some fluctuation there is some fluctuation yes then learning curve learning curve mainly is done to uh, actually it's a, it's a rate of person's progress of gaining experience so it is the person's progress of gaining experience to new skills so new skills to new skills okay new skills so this actually it shows how it is steep like so how it is uh, increasing i mean lead to find out uh, i mean done to it is mainly done to find out the errors and mistakes yes then um, what is a mistake mistake you know it is actually an accidental or some wrong something done wrong errors usually uh, made due to the lack of knowledge errors usually done due to lack of knowledge okay then mistakes you know mistakes is a, f- a formal uh, mistakes you know machines never make mistakes but rather they make errors so like that so machines they don't make uh, mistakes but they make errors then you have external factors external factors uh, all these factors what are the external factors like they can have an impact on um, business investment to achieve the um, strategic goals and objectives so they have impact on project goals then objectives so all these f- things to achieve objective then external factors what are the thing actually they might include like a uh, uh, competition in social legal social social or this is government or some related see social then legal and also technological changes technological changes it also uh, includes economic political environments then this process improvement it is like uh, cutting costs noticeably in organization through organiz- uh, like using by uh, visualization you can find out how to improve by visualization by visual by actually this duplicating work also spoils the environment so remove this one then uh, also uh, unnecessary tasks unnecessary tasks 
should be removed then resources are allocated with efficiency and intelligence which makes process better so this should be duplication should be removed unnecessary task should be removed good visualization should be there good visualization yes to see whether or how it is on track so this process like good resources you should utilize the resources utilize resources with efficiency efficiency and intelligence so that it makes process better it makes the process better and spending less time spending less time cost etc okay then you have some steps to change the control like you have identify the impacts investigate alternatives communicate minimize uh, effects and ensure implementation so what is this identifying impacts actually the stakeholders the owners no owners uh, they change the attitudes uh, behavior towards the technological ethics that is evidence of learning level of involvement engagement during and after the project life cycle so it creates uh, this is all it is known as impact so this like one of stakeholders uh, sorry stakeholders stakeholders they change the attitude they change attitude and our behavior then towards the Uh, like uh, technological ethics ethics then level of uh, involvement during the project life cycle okay then investigate alternatives alternatives investigate alternatives actually it is like a uh, it has different in, in uh, alternatives means different choices available to achieve the project objective so there are different alternatives means diff just a minute the different choices the alternatives means different this like you have a, a choice either this or that and which is better to proceed with according to the objectives or the company goals like that so objectives actually it is different choices to achieve the project objective to achieve the project objective then it is actually an as an analytical comparison of different factors also you can say is is an analytical comparison of different factors like uh, operational cost operational cost then uh, risks effectiveness so all this leads to the alternatives yeah then communicate communicate you know it's a very good communication should be from the top to the bottom so it have good effective and efficient communication and minimize the effects of having control then minimize the effects of control of possible future events like uh, any uh, like that is proactive uh, rather than reactive so effective risk management strategies can be applied to allow to identify the project's uh, strength weakness using swat analysis using swat analysis the strength weakness then uh, you have opportunities threat so these are taken into consideration so it talks about all the future events okay then implementation implementation ensure implementation actually it is a, it highlights the successful project uh, isn't delivered without hard work And, and and repeatable project methodology so should have it says that implementation every time you should insist on hard work so hard work gives success and proper methodology these are very important 